What up, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. Today, we're gonna to cover test-driven development in object-oriented programming. Specifically, we're going to use JavaScript, in, which is a dynamically typed language, so there's no types. The benefits of dynamically typed languages usually are the super fast feedback cycle. Now, the whole point of test-driven development, also called regular refactor or abbreviated as TDD, is to have high-quality code both at the beginning of the project and at the end of the project as your project progresses over its life cycle. The way you do TDD is that you write the test first before you actually write any code. You can write code in your test, but not actually the code that does anything. So you write the test first, then you write the bare minimum to get it working. So it doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be you know following solid principles, right? It's just the bare minimum to get it working. And then the third step is your refactor. And sometimes you might not be able to refactor until you've done more discovery and that's okay. The point is the tests are there for you. Now there's a lot of other things that it does that elucidate ideas about how your code could work, mainly because you're forced to consume the API that you're creating. And so that's one of the many things, building a LIFO queue today, and it's a set of requirements. The only way to really do TDD is to have some basic set of requirements, 70% or so. You can get it from CyberDojo. It's a place that has a ton of small little coding exercises. It's very similar to Advent to Code. They're small enough that you can play and learn but they have a breadth where certain things could later change your API, make you rethink how you build things. So it's a great, great place to get some ideas on how to practice TDD. And they have built-in languages here too. You don't have to code in a code editor. TDD, tester and development, using object-oriented programming in JavaScript. And these ideas apply to any other OOP-based language. The only difference is if you have types, they'll help you. We don't have types, so we're gonna rely heavily on our tests.